Very, very, very few of you might remember the 12th ever video on this channel. And it was the first mock that I had built and then made the instructions readily available for you to build at home. And it is, of course, the Moss Isley Diorama. I had no space in this room when we moved to fit the full Moss Isley set. So decided to break it down, build a diorama. There were plenty of dioramas on the shelf at the time. And I was so, so happy with the result. I managed to pack every single minifigure. I'm pretty certain in saying this is every single minifigure from the Master Builder series Moss Isley Cantina into this set. This is actually the most expensive set I have purchased for myself and it makes up one of my smaller displays. But what drew me to this set initially was all of the minifigures and the fact that you got pretty much the complete interior of Moss Isley. I wasn't a fan of these side builds so I tried to keep the aspect of Moss Isley into this I think it's a 16 by 24 display, including the wanted poster for R2 and 3PO and a little seating area, not only for Han Solo and Greedo to duel off. You can see it a bit better from the top, but also space next to them for Garen Dunn, the Imperial spy, to be sat and contact his Imperial contacts, obviously. Now knowing the whereabouts of not only R2 and 3PO, but also Han, Luke and the others. We've got Kenobi talking to Chewbacca over on this right side of the bar. And we've also got Luke and the Everson and Ponder Bubba situation alongside most of the other creatures you'll see throughout. So I'd like to keep the whole feel of this cantina when transporting it to a modular, but we do need to get rid of these eight studs. So I could quite easily just half the bar and keep these stools over here. I might actually squeeze these closer together so we can get two in the modular. But that is tomorrow's video. I really like the way I built these seats. If I remove Garandon, you can see the seats are only coming out of the wall by that half a stud. And that is one of the best designs I think I have done across all of my different mocks to date. Because what I've done is Built these seats with a stud back and then back that onto solos. But you can see for Greedo's chair, I've actually recessed it half a stud into the wall, which is hiding the other half of the chair and stop it looking as bulky as they did in the set. Because you can see down here with Han, the seats aren't meant to come out of the wall as much as they do. They're not meant to be these chunky armchairs. And that means that you've got more space to display scenes like the Han Greedo shootout. Let me know in the comments who you think shot first. And it is Star Wars, dependent what special edition you watch, it will be a different answer. So there is no wrong answers, I guess, unless you say they didn't shoot, because I'm pretty sure in all the editions, both of them end up shooting. We've also got Figurin Dan at the bar here and two of his, I think there should be four others. I think there's five of them, there might be six, but some of his modal nodes at the table here. Perhaps they're only half playing or perhaps these are on a lunch break and they've got someone like Sice Snootles currently on the bar. And that's something I'd like to include in the modular as well. A small stage so we can get at least one of these performing a solo if not all three of them because I quite like that in the original playset. We've got a few other characters like KB down here and this Ithorian at the other end of the bar which is actually my first Ithorian. I really love the head mold for this character. A bunch of exclusive pieces and minifigures. And I think this works as a diorama. I would love if Lego would give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 minifigures. I think there might have been a few more. I guess you've got like R2D2 and that. I think there were nearly 20 minifigures in the whole set. But if they gave us 15 minifigures on a diorama, that would be a sort of Endor diorama which I would love to have seen last year to celebrate the return of the Jedi anniversary and perhaps pay homage to the Endor Master Builder series. But you can really do these with any of the Master Builder series. The Ewok Village you could definitely make a diorama of the main bit where the gang are about to get roasted by the Ewoks until Leia comes to the rescue. We also got the Cloud City that would make a really cool diorama with the whole carbonation chamber 
because you've pretty much got everyone not only around the top of that, but if they build it up a little bit, you could probably also include Vader and Luke fighting down below. So perhaps I'll take a look at what minifigures I have and try and make dioramas out of the other Master Builder series. Of course, I don't have the other Master Builder series because they are very, very pricey, but perhaps there's a few cheaper sets you might have got and a few figures you might already have that you can use in them sets. I know for Cloud City, We've got so many playsets and that cheap carbonate chamber with the Han, the mechanism that popped Han down and then you could switch it for the Han in carbonite and pop it back up. That come with some really cool figures and we actually have Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett in not only a mech but also the new Return of the Jedi set. I've done a video on that already. I won't speak any longer. There's a few details I have actually added which you might have spotted already and that is in the way of customs, mainly over here in this little coven you've got these cool printed arms on greedo you know where these are from firestar toys again i do have a link in the description to get you i think it's 10 percent off and that is also where i got greedo's blaster from it's really really cool this is a brick arms blaster and i do now own a few different types of blasters so perhaps we can compare them in the future but greedo's arms were a must for this set and of course, if I'm getting Greedo's Blaster, I've got to pick up Han's DL-44. And again, this is, and again, a Brick Arms Custom Blaster. It looks really, really cool. I do actually own a different custom blaster of this, and this is really, really detailed for how small it is. So we've got Han and Greedo in the little booth having their shoe off. And let me know down in the comments what you think of this diorama. I had so much fun making it. And I can't believe it was a year ago. I think it's not quite a year ago. We're like two, three days early, but I look forward to turning this into a modular tower for the Lego city. And I really hope you enjoy the process. There's actually gonna be four layers to this tower. And again, I'll break it down a bit better in tomorrow's video when we're actually turning it into the first tower. But hopefully I can find a theme perhaps i'll do it tatooine themed i'll have a think overnight and this will be the first of many and before you know it the lego city will become a lego star wars world so don't forget stay tuned for that let me know what you thought of this diorama in the comments and i'd love to hear if you've stuck around since i posted that do we have any of the first 200 subs still watching the videos let me know down in the comments and thank you so much for the support I can't believe we're at over 2,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. If you haven't already, drop a like on this video and be sure to smash that subscribe button. And I appreciate all the help getting us to the next milestone, which I guess is 3,000 now. But let's push for 5,000, 10,000. And don't forget, I am building that minifigure scale Star Destroyer at 100,000 subs. So if you want to see that soon, make sure you are subscribed. Check out all the videos on the end screen. And may the bricks be with you always.